everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you haven't already please subscribe i do upload new videos every single week so stay tuned for that in today's video i've actually partnered up with merit in doing this beauty five minute makeup routine so i'm actually going to be timing myself and i'm going to be doing the countdown to five minutes to truly show you that this will work. So this is actually my first time trying all of these products, but I'm guaranteed that you will love this because I've actually tested out one of the products and I'm obsessed. And just a little disclaimer, if you do wish to purchase any of these products, I do have all the links down in the description box down below. So be sure to check that out. So let's get started. I'm actually just gonna show you a quick little overview as to what I'm working with right here. So you can see it right here. <laughs> so they've kindly gifted me all of these products in this cute little bag that anything that you purchase from Merit actually comes in this reusable bag, which is super cute. Like I love the fabric. I love how it's a tie bag. It's also sustainable. The reason as to why I accepted this partnership with Merit is because I love working and wearing brands that are clean, beauty. So that's something that I've really decided to gear my makeup collection towards is clean beauty. You can also purchase all of these items from Sephora. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start off by clipping up my hair and then we'll start that five minute countdown. Okay, so I just went ahead and clipped up my hair so I don't have anything on my face. Also, speaking about the face, you wanna make sure that you're starting off with a clear, clean canvas. And that means cleansing your face, moisturizing your face, really setting the base for this dewy, natural makeup look. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer here on my phone for five minutes. I'm gonna screen record it. So you ready? Oh my God, this is gonna be so fast. I wanna make sure that like I'm explaining each product to you guys too. And since this is all new to me, I'm going to be learning with you guys. <laughs> so let's try to do this within five minutes. Ready, set, go. Okay. So the first thing that I want to use is called the Minimalist. So this is the packaging, first of all. And so the Minimalist here is a perfecting complexion stick. And I got it in the color Bisque. And this is something I've seen online that it actually replaces your concealer and your foundation. So it's like, it's a one stick wonder. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cover up some of my redness that I do have. So around my nose is always the fun spot. Gonna do some under my eye and just a little bit there down the bridge of my nose. So basically my whole T-zone area. Let's go. <laughs> so I think that looks good. <laughs> so now they do sell a brush. Now this is called brush number one. This is the blending brush and I've actually used this already and it is so good. Like it blends so easily. And it's like super soft on the face as well. You can go ahead and brush this over top of your eyelids just to kind of set that. So I'm gonna do the one side of my face just to show you. And this is like literally a very quick blend. So do you guys see the difference of like my redness? It's almost gone. <laughs> What are we looking at? Oh my God, three minutes. Okay, what? <laughs> three minutes left. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this in five minutes just because I really wanna make sure I'm telling you guys about these products and being educational to you. Yeah, I think that looks good. What do you guys think? <laughs> the next part that I'm gonna do is my brows. So the brows here, it's brow 1980. I got it in the color brown just because I don't want my eyebrows to be like completely black. And it's a volumizing Pompeii. Also the packaging of Merit here is like absolutely insane. I love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to brush through my brows. I don't even have brows. So this is making me look like I have brows. That's nice. See the difference? This side versus this side. So this really like volumized it up. Okay. 
Okay, so I like how it's really fluffed it, but I kind of messed up. But let's just go ahead and do my mascara now. Now I'm gonna go in with their mascara. So this is called the Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. Got it in color Perfect Black. Again, packaging on point. <laughs> mascara is always difficult to like try to put on and on camera. Okay, I'm just gonna put my mascara on and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so this is my mascara. I messed up right here, but I'm not loving it. It's not lifting it like it's maybe after a few coats, but I just feel like they're really like clumping my lashes together and it's not like doing it singular and it's like going straight. Like I'm not even getting a curl out of it. Yeah, it's not like separating my lashes. So I'm gonna, just gonna go in and use my handy dandy trusty mascaras that I'm very particular and picky with. So give me a second. Okay, so very quickly off camera, I had gone ahead and just filled in my brows just a little bit because like I told you, I literally have no eyebrows and I just cannot grow hair there for the life of me. I don't know why. But anyways, I just filled in my brows very quickly with a pencil and I applied my go-to mascara. So my mascara is just a little bit lifted, but it's still... I don't know. I'm gonna be giving you my full review at the end of this video, so let's keep going here. So the next step that I'm going to do, is so I'm going to apply, it is called the Flush Bomb. It's a cheek color, so it's basically like a, a blush. This is color Cheeky that I chose. And to use, swipe onto the cheeks, blend it up with your fingers. So it's clean, vegan, cruelty free. All these products are. So it's just a twist, so twist it. And I'm gonna smile. and blend it up. I love blush, so bear it with me. <laughs> so this is really pretty actually. Yeah, you literally can't mess it up like how they said. So this is good. Add some to the bridge of your nose, whatever's on here, and other side. So I really do like this. It's like a very natural flush, which is nice. Always when I apply blush, I always do up here, across the bridge of your nose, like the high points as to where the sun would naturally sun kiss you. So now the next part here is highlighter. So I know that the day glow has been out of stock for the longest time and they actually just came back in stock. So definitely check it out below. I know this is like a fan favorite, so I'm excited to try it. So this is Day Glow Highlighting Balm in color Cava. So all you wanna do is just take off the lid <laughs> and just add it to the high points. Holy crap. <laughs> tip of your nose. I always do tip of the nose here and here okay this is like amazing and then just blend it in with your finger holy do you see that what the heck wow that's gorgeous actually okay other side you can even go around cupid's bow gonna use my finger for everything <laughs> and when I'm using my finger I'm just dabbing I'm not going to brush it because then you might swipe the product off so whenever I'm doing highlight I always want to create a C shape and then you can also do this for under your brows but here's the C and then tip of your nose here wow this is like really glowy this is perfect. And then I wonder if I can go with my pinky finger here, grab some product and just do the inner corner. So 
So I really like that so far. Next, I wanna show you the Shade Slicks. So the Shade Slicks Tinted Lip Oil, the first one I'm gonna show you is actually a part of their new collection. It's called Bel Air. So I'm gonna show you this one first, then I'm gonna show you the colored one after. So this, what it looks like, it honestly just adds like an oil. It's like really like glossy, juicy, I don't know. <laughs> What's the terminology for that? Okay, so that's what that looks like. This is the final look. So all we have on is literally just mascara, just to kind of open and brighten the eye. You've got your brows just to kind of add some contour and definition to your face. You got a little glow going on with the day glow. I absolutely highly recommend that. The flush, you got some flush, sun kissed, some color glow to your skin, and you're setting it all off with, um, the lip oil, which I really love this one. It's not sticky at all, so lip oils generally aren't. Um, so it's not sticky at all, definitely feels very hydrating. And so far I'm really liking the Bisque foundation stick because I'm not seeing much redness, which is good. It's very lightweight. I truly see my own skin coming through and it did tend to just even out my skin tone. I don't see it's cakey or anything like that. Truly, like I said, it feels like it looks like skin on. And all I did was just apply it to my T-zone area. So, so far, really loving this look. I'm definitely going to be continuing this morning routine because honestly, this did take honestly minutes. <laughs> so it's not a long routine. All the basics that you need in order to just enhance your natural beauty. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the other shade slick now that I just have just a normal natural lip. This one here is called Pink Beat. I know it is definitely a very popular one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and you can also apply your favorite lip liner or anything like that just to add a little bit of shape. But let's go ahead and apply this just on top. So as you can tell, it's adding a really nice color to the bottom of my lip. Again, super natural, just really enhancing your natural lip tone. And whenever I do go with lip colors, I always wanna make sure that I am going a shade or two darker than your actual gums. That's the color that you're supposed to be using on your lips just to really go with your skin tone and everything like that. So if I'm smiling, <laughs> you can see that it goes really natural with my gum color. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but oh my gosh, this is honestly my favorite. Doesn't that just look so natural and it adds color, right? Like it adds color to your skin tone, it adds color to your face, makes you look 10 times, 100 times more awake than what I did five minutes ago. <laughs> Another thing that I'm gonna do just to kind of finish off this look, I'm going to add Day Glow just to the highlight points of my collarbone here, because I find that adds a really nice effect too. There. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go through all the products one by one that I had just talked about and really tell you my true and honest review so far. So the first thing that we did is we went in with Bisque, and this is the concealer foundation two-in-one essentially, so this replaces both of those beauty products. Really love how this is looking on my skin, and you can go ahead and go in if you're starting to see that it might be rubbing off. And just add in a quick little touch-up. So I really do love this. Like I said, it's very lightweight, minimal on the skin. It's actually very compact, which is nice too. can easily slip this right into your purse. I do find it adds a light coverage to your face. So I wouldn't really necessarily say it's a heavy duty strong coverage, but it does do the trick in adding a even skin tone. So I do like that for a more of a natural look, which I think that's the vibe of this video is a more natural look. So I really do like that. The second product we used here is this brush. Oh my gosh, this brush here just simply smooths and blends everything in so seamlessly. So I really do Love this brush, highly recommend that. The next product that we used here was the brow. With me being a con of my brows, <laughs> I wasn't 
truly a fan of this just because I have no eyebrows and it's not really a fair statement to say on behalf of Merit, but I had to fill in my eyebrows just because I don't have the nice thick bushy brows that most girls do have. <laughs> if you are team no brows, let me know girl. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know that I'm not the only one. <laughs> Anyways, this one did add a natural effect of your brows but it didn't hold like as if it's gel. So I don't think they're really advertising this to be a gel formula where it's going to hold your brows in place, it's going to make them look huge and bushy. I think this is just to add a little bit of tint to your natural brows just to kind of volumize them just a little bit and to kind of put them in place. But again, it's not like a gel. So it's more of a, I think they call it as a pomade. So this one here, it's good if I had brows. <laughs> so that's that. The next product that we used was the mascara. You guys know what my first reaction was to this. I don't have the longest lashes in the world, but I do have some. And I'm very particular when it comes to mascara because some can really make or break the deal for me. <laughs> and this one here, unfortunately, I wasn't in love. It just made my lashes go straight. They did not curl, they did not separate. Everything that you would probably look for within a mascara, it just didn't do it for me this time. I know others that have really loved this product here, but if you wanna try it out, like I said, all of the items are in the description box down below, so feel free to check that out. And yeah, so you guys know my review on that. The next product that I used was the Flush Bomb absolutely love this. This add a really beautiful pop of color without being too pigmented or too um, light. And it was honestly the perfect medium for this. So it added a really nice flush color, which is what it's supposed to do. And it was very blendable, which I'm like over the moon about because of a lot of cream or liquid blushes aren't typically blendable like they're not the easiest to blend I find like I'm really going in with a beauty blender and brushes and all that stuff trying to really blend it out make it look natural this here did it all for me so very easy you could not mess it up like how it said you just put it apply it where you want it get your finger and just tap it into the skin and lift it up as you do that and you're perfect so I really love this I'm gonna think about getting some more colors in that the next product that we used here was the Cava Day Glow. This is the highlighting stick and I'm just gonna say a simple yes. I'm keeping this, I'm loving this. This is definitely needed within your makeup collection. You can still see that it's still on there. I'm still glowing, love this. So need I say more about this? Just go grab one. <laughs> the next product that I used here was the Bel Air Lip Oil. Do I need to say more about this? This is a simple, easy, throw this in your purse, touch it up, it's not sticky. If the wind's gonna blow my hair, it's not gonna get in my lips, I'm not gonna be eating my hair <laughs> or anything like that. Really love this, highly recommend. And they have so many colors in these tinted lip oils and I'm so tempted to try all of them. And this one here, Pink Beat, you can see on my lips, very natural. It does not smudge, so I don't see any on my face right now around my lips, so that's really good. Honestly, it's perfect, does not bleed, like I was saying, does not bleed into the skin. It's just a perfect natural enhancement to your lips. So I really love that. And also this pink beat here. So I'm very particular when it comes to lip colors too because I don't want anything that's too orangey because if I have something that's orangey on my lips, it tends to make your teeth look a little bit on the yellowy side. So that's why they always say, go with a lip color that's maybe has a little bit of a blue undertone because then that enhances the white in your teeth. But this here is honestly like the perfect shade. It's got a little bit of a orangey undertone, a little bit of a bluish undertone too. And like I said, it enhances my natural gum color to my lips and it goes perfectly I find with the flush blush color on my cheeks. So yeah, this is the final look. I really do love most of the products like I've just explained. So if you do have any questions about any particular product, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always checking my comments. I'm always getting back to you guys. And if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really love this support and to know that you guys appreciate and love these product reviews. And if you've made it this far, please give me a follow on my Instagram would love to have you guys there too. It's at Lauren underscore Palache. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these types of videos. And until next time, bye guys. <laughs>